We guarantee an increase in conversion rates and an increase in gross in just one month. And if after the first month, you don't see an increase in conversion rates and gross, we'll give you your money back. What is Sales Leader? Sales Leader by IntelliTech is the best sales enablement software ever imagined to close more customers, improve CSI scores by speeding up the sales process, making customers happier, increasing front end gross, and increasing back end gross. You know the road to the sale, and you know best practices for your sales department. Yet, there's always some reason why detours are taken. And let's face it, your sales reps go long periods of time sitting and talking with customers, leaving managers to wonder what is going on. Is there a potential sale? Do we need to step in? What is going on? If I'm a GM, I want to know what's going on on my sales floor. And if I'm a sales manager, I need to know. And if I'm a dealer principal with multiple stores, I would love to see in real time all of the live deals working across all of my stores and all of the deals sold today, this week, this month, and with all the stats needed to ensure best practices are being followed. Also, with Sales Leader, an account may have multiple regions, regions may have multiple stores, and in large stores or stores where a GM has more than one rooftop, sales reps and even their managers can be assigned to teams. Let's jump in. Of course, every new deal starts with a phone call, internet lead, or walk-in customer. If it's a phone call or an internet lead, the process of getting and setting an appointment is managed in your CRM. Your sales rep also has their appointments in Sales Leader and can start a deal or showroom visit directly from an appointment where they may have pre-populated much of the customer data. Or they can simply create a new deal for a walk-in customer. So far, this is similar to starting a deal in your CRM, but this is where the similarities end. As great as your CRM may be, once the customer is in the store, that's when Sales Leader takes over management of the deal to ensure maximum results. This is the dashboard that allows you to see with just one look exactly where we are with each and every deal in the showroom. Icons on the dashboard change colors in real time with no delay or screen refresh necessary. Dashboard icons turn yellow if it is something needed to be done, red if it is something that must be done immediately, and green if completed. We'll come back to the dashboard. All deals start with either a phone or internet lead and a set appointment, or a walk-in customer or service customer. After greeting the customer, your sales reps either start a new deal from an appointment that they had previously entered, or they start a new deal by simply entering as little as just a name. The new deal instantly appears at the top of the live deal in the showroom dashboard, which we'll be coming back to. And within a few seconds, your floor manager receives a text notification that there is a new customer in the showroom which includes the sales rep's name and the customer's name, so that he or she can immediately go greet and welcome the customer to the dealership. Notice the manager meet and greet icon is now red on the dashboard. Think about this, and let's step out of the dealership for just a moment. When you go into a nice restaurant, oftentimes you experience a manager table visit, also known in the restaurant business as a table touch. Guests are made to feel special, and that their business is important to the restaurant and appreciated. This helps ensure the dining room runs smoothly and that guests have a personal and engaging service experience. These customers may spend as much as a few hundred dollars in the restaurant. Your customers spend tens of thousands of dollars purchasing a vehicle in your dealership and then a few thousand dollars more when they get into finance. We need to be giving these customers the same white glove treatment. The first time a manager meets the customer should be when the customer first arrives, not when they are trying to leave. That is enforced with Sales Leader. Of course, we know that in many dealerships, sales managers can have multiple roles. A sales manager can be desking deals, working the floor, TOing customers, and appraising trades. Or you could have separate desk managers, floor managers, a used car manager, and a BDC manager. Sales Leader allows sales managers to have one or multiple roles. Or maybe your finance managers are pulling double duty as floor managers. Once the manager meet and greet is completed, the meet and greet icon turns from red to green. Next, the needs analysis or needs assessment is an important step in the sales process. 
understanding what the customer wants and their situation so that you can tailor their presentation, demonstration, and negotiation to match the customer's situation and goals. Sales Leader incorporates the needs analysis, getting rid of the old paper forms and ensuring that this crucial step is done. Of course, very often, we know in advance of the visit exactly which vehicle the customer is coming in to see. And we may know about the trade and even how they intend to pay. So your sales reps can simply ask questions that make sense for that customer. With Sales Leader, you can answer any number of questions and leave any number of questions blank. Of course, we need to know at least the basics, what type of vehicle they want, whether there is a trade, and if there is a trade, what they are trading and what they owe on it. If it makes sense to ask credit questions for this customer, then we do. If it does not make sense, then we don't. And of course, this should be conversational and should not be an interview or an interrogation. If credit questions are asked and the customer has less than great credit, your finance managers get a text message letting them know which sales rep is working on what deal that they should probably get involved early on. As you'll see, Sales Leader fosters a team effort on every deal. Once the needs analysis is completed, it turns green on the dashboard. Next, your sales reps are doing their new vehicle walk around or product presentation followed by the demo drive. Once the product presentation and demo drive are completed, the present and demo icon turns green. If there is a trade, then you'll see the trade walk around and trade appraisal icons turn yellow, indicating that these are next steps that must be done. So your sales rep takes their customer back outside for the trade walk around. Once the trade walk around is done, the trade walk around icon turns green, the appraisal icon turns red, and your used car manager or whomever you have appraising trades receives a text letting him or her know which sales rep has what customer needing a trade appraisal. And once the appraisal has been completed, your desk managers get a text notification that numbers are needed. Everything the desk manager needs to produce the numbers should now be in the system, so a conversation with the sales rep is not even necessary. It is quite typical that a sales rep is sitting at their desk with the customer for long periods of time without touching base with the desk to let the desk or sales managers know what is going on. With Sales Leader, every manager knows what is going on with every deal in the showroom. Now, when it comes to presenting the numbers, the dashboard will light up for both the sales rep and the floor manager to present the numbers. In some dealerships, the floor manager or sales manager present all the numbers. We are a fan of this process. In other dealerships, the sales rep takes the first swing and then the floor manager steps in. So the yellow pencil icon indicates that numbers are needed and the yellow manager TO icon turns yellow to indicate that a floor or sales manager should be presenting these numbers. If the sales rep presents the numbers and the customer has not agreed, then the first pencil icon will turn gray and the second pencil icon turns yellow. If two pencils have been presented by the sales rep and we do not yet have an agreement on numbers, the second pencil icon will turn gray on the dashboard, the manager TO icon will turn red and the floor or sales managers receive a text message letting them know that a manager TO is immediately required. Really, we should not have let two pencils go without a manager TO, but now it is in the manager's hands to work and close the deal. Once a customer agrees to numbers, the desk deal icon turns red, the service department introduction icon and the finance manager icon both turn yellow and both the desk managers and finance managers receive text notifications that numbers have been agreed upon. Of course, again, the notification includes the relevant information. Your sales reps get started on their front end paperwork and the desk manager or finance manager submits the deal to the appropriate banks and the desk manager prepares the deal jacket to go into finance. The next up finance manager should be getting into this deal immediately upon numbers being agreed to so that once the sales rep is done with their front end paperwork and once the deal has been submitted and approved and the deal checked off on by the desk, the finance manager should be ready for the customer. Once the desk manager completes getting approvals or checking off on the deal, the desk deal icon turns green and the finance manager icon turns red. Now, once the sales rep completes their front end paperwork and while the desk is checking off on the deal and while waiting for the finance manager to come and get their customer, the sales rep needs to be taking their customer to the service department for a service department introduction tour and to schedule their first maintenance visit. 
This first maintenance visit should always be no cost, whether paid for by the manufacturer on a new vehicle or just complimentary from the dealership on a used vehicle. It is very important to establish the habit of coming to your dealership for the vehicle maintenance and repairs. If your finance managers weren't watching the dashboard and getting involved earlier in the deal, they were certainly aware as soon as the customer agreed to numbers. Remember, they received a text message letting them know which sales rep has a customer that just agreed to numbers, and this is the point where whichever finance manager was to be up next is up. Finance managers need to be getting into these details as early as possible and getting the customer into their office right away. It's very important for CSI, and there's absolutely no reason why this couldn't be done. Finance managers do not need to be watching YouTube at their desk or day trading while deals are working. Their assistance is critical and should be required. And once the customer's done in finance, the finance icon turns green, and your sales rep receives a text notification letting them know that their customer is done in finance and ready for final delivery. Your sales reps should be prepared to come and get their customer out of the finance office before their customer even gets up from their seat in finance. Customers should not be coming out of finance and wondering where their sales rep is. We want the customer to feel like this was an incredibly orchestrated experience with white glove treatment all the way through. In a perfect world, we would all close 100% of the customers in our showroom on their first visit. Of course, this is not the case. And that is where the U-turn call or a taillight call comes in. 15 minutes after the customer leaves your dealership, your sales and BDC managers receive a text that a U-turn call is needed. At this point, a manager who had no interaction with the customer during their visit will call the customer to thank them for coming in and ask if they were able to get the car or truck that they wanted today. This customer will often give the reason why they left and the manager may be able to turn that customer around to finish the deal today. Similar to the U-turn call or a taillight call, a manager who has had no interaction with the customer will make this save a deal call the following day and will call the customer on behalf of the general manager to thank them for coming in and to apologize that you did not have the vehicle that they were looking for. Again, the customer will typically let the manager know that we did in fact have the vehicle but it was the price or it was the payment or it was the trade. This is where the manager reminds the customer that they were calling on behalf of the general manager and that they are authorized to make the deal. The save a deal screen shows you everything you need to know for all the customers that need to be called all on one screen, complete with the phone number and notes for each deal to quickly plow through making these calls. We can see from live deals dashboard that there are seven deals currently working on the sales floor. For each deal, we can see the sales rep's name, customer name, vehicle of interest, trade vehicle, lead source, distance customer drove to get to the dealership, and how long ago the visit started. We can see that a customer visit was just started less than a minute ago, and that means that the floor or sales manager just received a notification on their mobile phone that a manager greeting is needed. A deal was started 27 minutes ago, and we can see that the manager meet and greet was not done and the sales rep has already completed the needs assessment, gone on a test drive, and completed a trade walkaround. We are now waiting on the trade appraisal. Whoever is responsible for trade appraisals did receive a notification on their mobile phone that a trade appraisal is needed. Another deal started 58 minutes ago, and that one is waiting for a trade appraisal as well. The next deal doesn't have a trade and agreed to numbers after the first pencil, after the manager TO. The desk is finished with the deal, Finance managers were notified that there is a deal ready and the sales rep should be introducing the customers to the service department. The next deal is close on the numbers is being submitted to the banks by the desk. You can see on the next deal, the sales rep presented two pencils before the floor manager came out to TO the deal but was not able to get an agreement on number. 15 minutes later, a U-turn call will be made. The oldest deal started one hour and 22 minutes ago. The customer agreed to numbers after a manager TO and we are just waiting for finance. If I'm a GM, I'm loving how I can see everything that is happening on my sales floor. If I'm a sales manager, I can keep track of everything that I am working, as well as deals that other desk or sales managers are handling. And if I'm a finance manager, I can get into deals quicker and get customers into the finance office right away. These days, most customers are coming from internet leads and we primarily work by appointment but we still have a considerable number of walk-ons or walk-ins. 
we need to make sure that we are watching the lot for customers in need of help and greeting customers that are coming into the store. Customers can sometimes get a little defensive when approached before they are ready to speak with a salesperson. However, customers expect to be greeted at a car dealership, and they will, and do, get upset if not greeted and will leave without asking for help. What we don't need is for multiple sales reps to be wasting valuable time outside, hanging out waiting for customers to drive on the lot, when they could be spending their time calling, emailing, and otherwise following up on their leads and unsold customers. And of course, you don't want multiple sales reps trying to beat each other to the customer. Sales Leader solves this issue with our up rotation system. When sales reps come in each morning, they join the up rotation. Whoever joins first is up first. An up session lasts for one hour or until the sales rep catches an up or otherwise has a customer in the showroom. The next in line receives a text message letting them know that they are up and so on throughout the day. The leaderboard shows how many sales each of your sales reps have for the month and the bars change colors based on where they are for the month in relation to their agreed upon goal for the month. A simple but powerful motivator. Sales Leader solves the schedule management problem that you didn't even realize you have. Most dealerships wind up printing out calendars and writing names on each day or some other type of written list taped to a wall or a window, or they use a Google Calendar. None of those are good options. And there is some employee schedule management software available on the market, but I had never seen a good one. The employee schedule management built into Sales Leader shows a graphical depiction of who is working and when and for the entire month. It is really cool and looks like a game of Tetris. You select the employee group for the calendar, select sales reps or BDC reps or sales managers or finance managers. And if you are a large store with a lot of sales reps or you have multiple rooftops, then you may have team set up and you can also select the team. Managers can edit the schedule and add notes for leaving early or coming in late. Your team can access their schedule by just clicking on the schedule tab of the software that they are already in. Things can get pretty hectic at the sales desk. Most dealerships have access to as many as 30 to 40 banks and credit unions, each of which have different criteria. Most veteran desk managers know the programs for the banks that they use most frequently and have no problem determining which banks they should submit to first. Less experienced desk managers and finance managers tend to rely more so on the written bank program guides and rate sheets that each bank puts out. Nobody in the dealership knows each and every bank's programs. As a finance manager, then finance director, I kept a spreadsheet of all of our banks and updated it every time a bank rep came in. But every time I still had to scan through the spreadsheet to identify the best banks to submit to. Similarly with sales leader, Desk managers and finance managers add and update banks and their criteria to sales leader every time a bank rep comes in. Then, when it's time to submit a deal, they can search and filter banks based on the customer's best credit bureau and credit score, vehicle age and mileage, and loan to value. This lender tool saves time and ensures that we're choosing the right banks to begin with and fast, and better calls add up to more gross. Every dealer wants to reduce cash deals and increase finance penetration. Sales Leader includes tools that help to sell, help to get things done faster, and help to make for great customer experiences. One of those tools helps customers to identify whether they would be better off taking the cash that they were going to use to buy their vehicle and instead apply that as a lump sum to their mortgage, reducing the principal and therefore the interest that they would have paid on that portion of the principal over the remainder of their mortgage term. This tool calculates the mortgage interest savings and compares that to the interest that would be paid on the auto loan. In most cases, regardless of how low the customer's mortgage interest rate might be, and regardless of how high the interest rate might be on the proposed auto loan, customers find that they would be better off financing the vehicle and applying the lump sum towards their mortgage. A really powerful tool that can score you several more finance deals per month. This alone can pay for the software several times over. Close more customers, improve CSI scores, increased front-end gross, and increase back-end gross. We make Sales Leader purposely simple to use. With very little instruction, the system can be implemented in just a few hours. However, it's not about the software. It's about the process of managing and enforcing best practices to maximize results. We guarantee an increase in conversion rates, 
and an increase in gross in just one month. And if after the first month you don't see an increase in conversion rates and gross, we'll give you your money back. We will implement Sales Leader for your dealership. We will conduct weekly training for your entire sales staff, including your sales and finance managers. And we will conduct a weekly general manager review call to make sure we're on track and getting the results you are looking for. If you don't love our software, or if you don't see increased conversion rates and gross after just one month, we'll give you your money back.